This next exercise is a single leg lower. So you're going to have one leg up against the um, table. Now one thing you can do is try and make sure that in this position there's no stretch in your hamstring. Um, you're also going to focus on engaging the core, thinking about your pelvis, staying in place. In other words, you want to stay there. You lift your other leg up. And now, as you lift it there, you're going to slowly lower your leg. And as you do so, you want to really focus on your pelvis and not move it. So in other words, you're using your core muscles to stabilize your pelvis as your leg moves. And so one thing when I mentioned the hamstring stretch, if this is not stable, then it's going to, it's going to stretch. Now suddenly I'm going to feel a stretch in this hamstring. But if you think about it, I haven't moved this leg. So this hamstring stretch is not a true hamstring stretch. It's a stretch that's caused by the actual pelvis tilting. And then, because they, hamstring attaches to the pelvis. So that's a cue to me that I didn't stabilize my pelvis. Another cue that you can do, and I'll get some clients to do, is put their hand just slightly under their low back there, and as they're lowering, what you want to feel is that you get the same pressure throughout the movement. So right down the floor, and then back. So what will happen if someone's pelvis is unstable, or if they're not stabilizing it, is that as they go down, as they lower, they're going to feel less pressure on their back, or like under, on their hand from their back, and then as they get here, you're going to feel more. So what that means is as your leg moves, your whole pelvis is moving with you. You don't want that to happen. So this is a great exercise, but for it to be effective, you have to really focus and think about these muscles and really make sure that it's really just the leg that's moving. Another thing you can do, same end, you know, really just put your hands right on your pelvic bones here, and then as your leg moves. Just try and feel that they stay perfectly in place. Uh, different people, I find, find different ones, these cues more effective. I actually think the hand under the back is maybe the most effective for most people. And then just really focus, really think, I'm using my core muscles here to save us. You will likely also feel it in your hip flexor, as that is super important. So this is single leg lowering. You're going to do the same thing on the other one. 